Across the Swat Valley, many people are outraged by the Taliban's attack on Malala Yousafzai. She was shot by gunmen as she travelled home from school in a van on Tuesday. Private schools closed for the day in protest. Students gathered to pray for her. Malala is like our sister. We pray for her earliest recovery and well-being. We also pray that other students can benefit from Malala's enlightened views. The attack is front-page news in Pakistan. The Taliban has released this statement. If anyone thinks that Malala was targeted because of education, that's absolutely wrong and propaganda from the media. Malala was targeted because of her pioneering role in preaching secularism and so-called enlightened moderation. And whoever does so in the future will also be targeted. Given the threat, it appears Yusuf Zai will need serious protection. The state has failed to provide protection in the past. And the state has failed again now to protect the brave voices. Pakistan's government has condemned the attack, but activists say they're also responsible. This is a state that has sponsored and fostered elements uh, that have now turned into the monster that we see as the Taliban. Judges are investigating the shooting, and the local government is offering a US $100,000 reward to anyone who can help police track down the gunman. The people who carried this out, the gang, has been identified. I promise that we will not let them escape and we will bring them to justice. A bullet was removed from Yusuf Zai's neck, close to her spinal cord. She's still unconscious. If Malala Yousafzai recovers, her life will still be in danger. She remains a target for the Taliban. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera.